Tom. So I'm Sandra from Sussex Fellow Initiative, I'm the project officer and we've been working in the River Ouse catchment for the last five years uh, trying to make a catchment that's more resilient to rainfall. Um, the Ouse and the Uck, which is part of the Ouse, um, we would describe as being flashy river catchments which means when it rains the water level rises really rapidly and falls really rapidly and that means that the volume and the magnitude of the flood can often be much bigger than it needs to be. Um, so what we're doing is we're mimicking natural processes to try and slow down and store more water in the landscape. So here you can see my dog Snakes is helping us <laughs> make a, a fairly small uh, woody debris dam and the idea is this, that as the water rises it will hit this dam and then back up a little bit behind it. And really these are just stop checks, they're just slowing the water down as it's travelling downstream. One of the other things that's really important, um, given climate change predictions, is making sure that this stream will continue to flow in the summer or when the flows are a bit lower. So really we want to make sure that there's room underneath these uh, dams for the water to go through, um, but that gradually as the water, as it rains and as the water level gets higher, then it, they become functional. So these are things that we don't want to work all the time, we just want them to work um, when, the, when the rainfall hits. Um, and so obviously on their own, these are having fairly small impact, but cumulatively across the catchment, um, we hope that they'll make a real difference to reduce flood peak downstream. Um, this is a lovely ancient woodland downstream of Uckfield Town, and what you see here is some of the runoff that comes off the hard surfaces in the town when it rains. So all this lo lovely silt and gloop and probably pollution is washed in from just up there into the ancient woodland. What we're trying to do with natural flood management is to uh, slow down that water as it comes into the system, uh, help it to take out some of the silt and the pollution and things that are carried with it when it's flowing quickly, um, and convert it into um, nice habitat, carbon storage, um, climate regulation and flood regulation within natural spaces. So natural flood management tries to complement traditional flood management by using the landscape to store water. Um, that can be for flood management and so we've got more drought resilience when we've got um, periods when there's not enough water around. Um, but we've done quite a lot of stuff to our environment uh, in the past which makes water travel through it too quickly and we can reverse quite a lot of that. So this is one example. Uh, we have a lot of very straight watercourses and we'll show you later one that's been over deepened as well. Um, and water takes the line of least resistance, so if you create a straight channel, it will always follow that channel and basically erode it down. Um, instead of which, what we want is for it to start to spread out across this little mini floodplain. And so this, you can see, the stream is just meandering its way through the woods, kicking off bits of wood and vegetation, braiding out into different streams, and in flood, the woods will uh, actually be flooded out to the sides there where the bluebells start um, and we're trying to encourage it to do that so that it holds on to more water rather than disappearing down those straight ditches that we showed you before. Um, 
lots of nice vegetation comes in when you start to introduce more water. So we've got more wild garlic, we've got uh, wild angelica, meadow sweet, and some really nice wetland plants coming in as well. Um, and it's all because of these things that we put in a few years ago, uh, holding back some of the silt in the water. Um, so just here, we've deliberately muddied the water to show you how the natural environment can help to sort of purify some of our water going into our rivers. Um, here it's flowing around a bend, it's flowing into some natural debris that's accumulated in the stream and it only has to go 10 or 20 metres and just down there you'll see that the water's flowing clean already because all the silt has dropped out because of the, the natural um, obstructions in the stream. Uh, this is one of the very simple techniques called gully stuffing. <laughs> um, it does what it says on the tin. Um, you literally put some natural wood into the channel to kind of block it so that the flow slows up behind, deposits silt and things, and actually starts to then re-meander itself and uh, de-straighten. So the nice thing about any of these natural flood management techniques is if they're not working or uh, they're causing a problem, you can just take them out again. Uh, they're simple, they're very cheap, they're effective, uh, and yeah, they're reversible, so they're great. <laughs>